Hi, my name is Christopher Manestrom and I work with design and education here at Colreal. And today we're going to get you started with your first design in our coloring software, Colreal Studio. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do when you open Colory Studio is open a stitch file. And in Colory Studio, we use the ones with the file extension DST. So let's click Open File. And you'll find that when you install Colory Studio to your computer, it creates a new folder inside Documents called Colory Studio. And in there, you will see we've added a couple of designs to get you started. So let's open this one called Colors.dst. Now that we opened a design in Color Studio, we enter what we call the workspace. There are many things that you can do with your design in Color Studio, and over time we're going to go into detail about everyone. But right now we're going to start with something simple, which is applying a color to our design. Whenever you load a DST file for the first time, it's going to appear gray in the workspace. And we give it that shade because it's asking for some color to be applied to it. So let's do that now. We're going to move the mouse over to the right side of the screen to the color picker. And by dragging the cursor, we can increase the saturation, make it darker or lighter. We can choose another color by adjusting the U value. By moving down, we can also adjust the red, green, and blue values, which we can also fine tune by adjusting the values on the right. If I know the hexadecimal value of the color I want, I can input it directly here. But now I'm going to create a nice blue color. So I'm going to first select the U, then drag the cursor until I get the brightness and saturation I want. Now that we are happy with our design, we need to save it. So I'm going to move the mouse cursor to the top left of the screen, where we have buttons for Open, Save, Save As, Update Stitches, and Feedback which we'll get into detail later. But now I'm going to press save. And now the file window has opened inside our Color Studio folder. I'm going to name my file. Press save. And now I'm done.